Hi guys, it's your best friend Alibas, and you're watching my channel, The Training Temple. So for today's lecture, I have chosen the topic verbs. What are verbs? A verb is an action word. A verb is a word that is that is used to describe what a person is doing. What am I doing currently? I'm waving my hands. Waving. That's a verb. And now I'm tapping my fingers together. Tapping. That's a verb. I'm looking at the camera. That is a verb. I'm looking at you people. That's also a verb. And a verb further has many types, such as transitive, untransitive. I'll be discussing them all later. So first, we will going. We will be discussing transitive verbs. Transitive verbs are those verbs which flow from one person to another person, such as eat. Eat is a verb. For example, you are eating. You can't eat nothing, right? You have to eat something. So the verb is flowing from you to the thing you eat. For example, Ali eats donuts. I am Ali. That is a subject, and that subject is flowing to another subject. Or the verb is connecting the two subjects. For example, the eat. Ali is eating. What is he eating? A donut. So the verb connects the two subjects in a manner in which both of them are connected in what they are doing. Ali is eating a donut. So more examples are I am cycling on the road. In transitive verbs. In transitive verbs are those verbs in which the subject from having the verb is doing it on his own. He doesn't need anything. He, the verb is not flowing anywhere. For example, hmm, what should I give as an example? Yes, I know. For example, Ali reads. Ali sleeps. Ali walks. These are intransitive verbs because they're not flowing to anything and they're restricted to one person only. Let's move on to the next topic, which is auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verbs are also called helping verbs because they are used with the main verb. And they help express the mood, tense, or vibe of the other verb, the main verb. For example, she is eating. Is is the auxiliary verb. She is sightseeing. Is again. And hmm, they are eating. Eating is the main verb, and are is the auxiliary verb. And more examples can be was, were. These are the auxiliary verbs. There are many auxiliary verbs. You have to revise them. Or I think it's pretty good to figure them out because they're always, always, always use the main verb. That's how you recognize them. And the next verb, the regular verb. Regular verbs are those in which the second, in which the second and the third participle can be formed by simply by adding ed, such as walk, walked, and killed, whispered. Whisper, er, ed, whisper, kill, ed, kill, walk, ed, walk. These are regular verbs because their next form can be formed by simply adding ed. Now, irregular verbs. Irregular verbs are those verbs in which the second and third form of the verb cannot be formed simply by adding ed. So, eat, eaten, you're not adding ed. Sit, sat, read, read, read. Ed is not being added, so these are irregular verbs. So for the la for the last two, finite verb. Finite verb. What should I do? Yeah, finite verbs are those words in which the form can change. For example, they change for per person. For example, I am teaching. He is teaching. You are teaching. The verb is is am are. I am teaching, he is teaching, they are teaching. The is, am, are is the finite word because it changes for every person. That I am, he is, they are. The is, am, are is the finite word. So after that, the last word of today. That is infinite word. These words are those that don't change for anyone. Such as I am playing, they are playing, she is playing. It does not change. He is teaching, I am teaching, they are teaching. Teaching and playing are the infinite words because they do not change for anyone. Well, I've taught you all I can about words. Love you all. Goodbye.